Well, thank you very much. Um, yes, one of the reasons why uh, we decided to come back to the West Coast first, because, you know, in my mind, this is not a Charleston story, a Charleston Longshore um, doctor story. This is really, in essence, also an ILWU story because of how much involved they, they were with this campaign and, and how they jumped into it early on. They got the, the whole essence of what was happening down there early on. Um, the campaign really didn't, in my mind, didn't get started and would not have been successful without the ILWU. So I just want to start with that. Um, so, but basically I think it, everyone here might be somewhat familiar with the story. We'll go into all the details. But it basically came about of, because of a Danish shipping company that decided to use non indian labor to start handling containers on the docks of Charleston. And I think that was going to have a ripple effect, not only in Charleston, but other ports, if the, this, this ship was allowed to get away with it. I mean, containerization is a way for the future. So they weren't attacking us on the brake bulk side of the business, on um, neo bulk, it's just on, on containerization. And in South Carolina, you know, we are some of the best paid blue collar workers in the state, um, making because we have a, a coast wide contract that lays out the weights and benefits. but. Here was a company that was looking to use labor and did so for four months until we were able to get our work back. Uh, used labor um, at seven and eight dollars an hour with absolutely no fresh benefits. We we cannot compete against that. I don't care how much you try. We cannot produce them, but still, you cannot compete against them. Nardano is some, somewhat of a renegade company that does not want to belong to any type of organized shipping. Uh, conglomerate or uh, association, um, they wanted to do their own thing. So they decided they would take us on in the South first. Um, and they did. And we lost that work for a period of about four months until we got help from our, our um, Spanish brothers over in Barcelona and um, through um, the IDC Connection, International Dock Workers Conference, that um, told them if they brought those ships back in, they would not be worth, um, you know, with their labor. And because it was hadn't been worked in South Carolina with um, Longshore. Um, but, um, and, uh, and another side of that problem was um, that um, not only did we lose our work, we decided to protest. And in that protest, it gave the state of South Carolina the opportunity to come after, I guess, one of the most progressive, um, visible union in the state of South Carolina. As, as you know, South Carolina is very hostile to unions. Less than 4% organized. 